Islam. Islam. Islam, Islam. This is your brother again, T. Jones Eel. I'm going to do a reading. Uh, this is one of my favorite poems from the war era time. I think this is uh, the Civil War. It's back. It, it was wrote by a, uh, what's his name? Dunbar. I forget Dunbar. But it's about Black Samson of Brandywine. Take a listen. And uh, it's pretty good. It's got some history in it. Here we go. Great are the pages of record. Dim are the volumes of old. Else had old Delaware told us more than her history held. Told us with pride in the story. Honest and noble and fine. More of the tale of my hero, Black Samson of Brandywine. Sing of your chiefs and your nobles, Saxon and Selk and Gaul. Breath of mine ever shall join you, highly I honor them all. Give to them all of their glory. But for this noble of mine, lend him a dice of thy tribute, Black Samson of Brandywine. There, in the heat of the battle, there, in the stir of the fight, loomed he an ebony giant, black as the pinions of night, swinging his sash like a moor over a field of grain, needless to care of the glimpse where he had passed a man. Straight through the human harvest, cutting a bloody swice. Woe to you, soldiers of Britain. Death is abroad in his path. Flee from the sight of the reaper. Flee while the moment is dying. None may with safety withstand him, Black Samson of Brandywine. Was he a free man or a bondman? Was he a man or a thing? What does it matter? His bravery renders him royal, a king. If he was only a chattel, honor the ransom may pay. What of the royal, the laurel black giant who fought for his country that day? Noble and bright is the story, worthy the touch of the liar. Sculptor or poet should find it full of the stuff to inspire. Be it in brass and in copper, Tell it in story lines so that the world may remember Black Samson of Brandywine. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice story. Uh, and it's true. So, uh, let me know how you like it in the comment section. Peace. Raising my five at you. Always.